Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. As you can see over the last couple of weeks, we have just been consolidating between this level of resistance and this level of support. However, after getting this bounce recently, we are now trading back to the upside. So let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels. So taking a look at the one hour time frame, of course, in yesterday's video, I showed you guys this bull flag pattern that actually broke out to the upside. And after trading to this level of resistance from about 65.5K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars, we are now getting a bit of a rejection. So what does this mean in the short term for this pattern right here? Well, even though the official price target for this breakout pattern is 67,000 US dollars, it can of course be invalidated before reaching the price target. And the level of invalidation for this pattern right here is if the price trades below 64,000 US dollars. So the point where the breakout actually started, and in the case that the price reaches below the point of the breakout, then we can simply cross off this breakout pattern and say that it is invalidated. So the current active price target is about 67,000 US dollars. But in the case that we do pull back lower, then the next big level of support below us here is from about 62,500 all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. However, as long as this pattern isn't invalidated, I do think it is more likely that we end up trading to the upside. So in the case that we do break this level of resistance at about 66,000 US dollars, then the next big level of resistance above that is from about 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. Now there is a larger pattern on the four hour time frame that you can see right here. It's actually this triangle pattern, which we broke down from a couple of days ago. And as soon as this broke out to the downside, I warned you guys that the active price target will be 58,000 US dollars, roughly speaking. And we almost ended up reaching this level three times. So even though this bull flag pattern is currently active, which has a price target of 67,000 US dollars, at the same time, we also have an active price target of 58,000 US dollars. But like I have been saying for quite a while now, this active price target of 58K doesn't necessarily have to get reached entirely. And in fact, we already got pretty close to it multiple times. So it is definitely possible that this was the entire dump and we are now ready to move back to the upside. It is just something that I'm going to keep repeating until the pattern is actually invalidated at about 67,000 US dollars. Because until the pattern is actually invalidated, in my opinion, the price target is just still active and it's not something you should be sleeping on in my opinion. So now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the one week time frame, it actually confirms that we shouldn't be completely ruling out the idea that we might go below 60K because there is a lot of liquidity below that level. In fact, there's about $500 million worth of longs that will get liquidated in the case that the price moves below the 60K level. However, at the same time, it is very clear that most of the liquidity is actually to the upside. In fact, we have about $900 million worth of people that are shorting the Bitcoin price sitting at about 65.8K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. Now, actually, we can see the bullish argument on the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, because when you zoom out, it is actually very clear that most of the liquidity is, in fact, to the upside with about two billion dollars worth of short liquidations sitting at about 73.2K. So that is something to keep in mind. And I think it would be very dangerous to actually short the market right now. But that is, of course, not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, moving on to the Bitcoin ETF inflows, I do want to correct a mistake from yesterday's video because I made a small mistake here looking at the data from Thursday instead of looking at the data from Friday. So my apologies for that. And someone commented about it on yesterday's video. So I do want to have mentioned it here. So the net outflow was not $4 million because that was Thursday. In fact, it was a net inflow on Friday of about $60 million. So that is a very good thing to see because we saw a lot of outflows over the last couple of days. Now, in my opinion, it will be very interesting to see when we check back in on this on Tuesday, if in fact this trend continues with net inflows coming into the ETFs, where we have more buying pressure than selling pressure from these Bitcoin ETFs. So if you're interested in staying up to date with the crypto markets, then I do recommend you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. 
And if you're interested in getting real-time updates of what I think is going on in the market, then do make sure you join my Discord server, which you can do completely for free with the first link in the description of the video that you are currently watching. You can join it completely for free and leave at any time. So definitely go check that out. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. Once we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, we then lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level and quickly traded to the 0.5 Fibonacci level at about 28.60. However, in the short term, we did get a break from all of that bearish price action by getting a little bit of a bounce from off this level. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum to see what is going on there. First, taking a look at this ascending triangle pattern on the one hour time frame that I talked about in yesterday's video. So we saw a breakout to the upside confirming this 3300 US dollar price target. However, the breakout started right below this massive level of resistance, which we did not manage to clear, as you can see right here. So we traded back to the downside and have now invalidated this ascending triangle pattern. For now, I am going to keep this ascending triangle pattern on the chart because ultimately something will happen before April 22nd. So it is definitely possible that we start trading back inside this range and then eventually do break out to the upside or to the downside from of this triangle pattern. And then this would just simply have been considered a fake out. Now, as for the support and resistance levels for Ethereum, first of all, we have this big level of resistance from about 3150 all the way up to 3250 with the next level of resistance above that being the 0.618 Fibonacci level at about 3330. However, right now we are getting rejected from this first level of resistance. And in the case that we, for example, break out to the downside of this triangle pattern, well, the next level of support below us is this big level of support from about 3000 US dollars all the way down to 2850. So these are definitely the levels that you need to keep an eye on in the short term here for Ethereum. Now taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame after getting rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level right here. Just like Ethereum, we lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And after not immediately holding this 0.5 Fib level with some scary wicks to the downside, we did eventually manage to reclaim the 0.5 Fibonacci level as a level of support and then started trading to the upside a little bit. So taking a look at the short-term support and resistance levels for Solana, this is a very interesting development because like I said in yesterday's video, we have to be aware of this downward sloping trend line. And in fact, it looks like we did just barely manage to get above this trend line and are now currently retesting this level to see if we can get a breakout, retest, and then a resumption to the upside. So first taking a look at the support levels for Solana, in my opinion, I do not think we have flipped this level of resistance into support just yet until it is actually confirmed that we retested this trend line and started trading back to the upside well above this 150 level. So this level of about $150 down to $140 is currently still an active level of resistance. So in the case that we do trade below this trend line, we might find a little bit of support right here at about $140, but the next big level of support below us is from about $133 all the way down to $125 for the price of Solana. And in the case that we do get a retest of this trend line and start trading to the upside, I think it can be a pretty explosive move for the price of Solana because the next big level of resistance after just clearing this 155 level right here, the next big level of resistance is from about 166 all the way up to $171, which is roughly a 13 to 15% move to the upside. So like I said earlier in the video, if you are interested in joining a crypto community where you can learn more about crypto or simply talk about your trading ideas and setups with other like-minded traders and crypto investors, then I do recommend you join the server. It is completely free to join. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.